Backside air in the half pipe for all about four lean on your high backs. You practice holding your heels by carving down the hill all day long. That's usually how I like to start to feel out my board, I guess. So you ride up the wall on your backside wall, keeping your knees, shoulders, hips, everything square, and uh, knees bent, and hold your heel edge all the way up the wall. And try not to pop when you're riding a half pipe because then you just go to flat, just pretend like you're riding and then ride off the end of the top of the half pipe. Doing a backside grab on your heel edge is usually the easiest thing to grab. Come down, try to land as high on the transition as you can to keep as much speed to the next wall. But, uh, they should put you in the perfect spot as far as where you want to be when you come down and land. Keep your knees bent, pump the wall into the next wall, and the next wall you should have enough speed and do the exact same thing but on your toes. Half pipe's all about transferring from heels to toes all the way down if you're just going to do straight airs. And uh, it's all about your edges. Keep your edges sharp in the half pipe too. So don't bring your kink rail board to the half pipe or your backside air might not work. Too good.